Virgin Australia is trying to get people to choose the middle seat by enrolling everyone who sits in those seats a chance to win over 200,000 in prizes. Not to be outdone, Spirit Airlines is offering a free bag of carrots if you sit in the bathroom. <laughs> The Dallas Zoo has been dealing with the disappearance of several animals, including a leopard, monkeys, and a vulture. In an unrelated story, check out my amazing coat. <laughs> this timber-towered suspension bridge has opened in Michigan. For now, said Beavers. During the trial of Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes, whose beard is patchier than his eye, <laughs> Prosecutors played a recording of him saying that his only regret about the January 6th attacks was not bringing rifles, which sounds like an obvious confession of guilt, but try looking at things from Rhodes' perspective with little to no depth perception. <laughs> Kanye West appeared on Tucker Carlson's show to defend wearing a White Lives Matter shirt, claiming he wore the shirt because he was using a gut instinct. But what he's definitely not using are the meds prescribed to him. House Republicans, concerned that China could use TikTok to illegally gather information on Americans, have voted for a bill that could ban the app nationwide, replied TikTok users. <laughs> the Empire State Building lit up blue and white to celebrate Aaron Judge hitting his record 62nd home run of the season. While over in Queens, a porta potty was set on fire in honor of the Mets blowing the division. <laughs> in a new Scooby Doo Halloween special, the character Velma is openly depicted as a lesbian. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> she was openly depicted as a lesbian, which explains why Scooby is now a rescue pit bull. That's how he really dances, too. <laughs> The Postal Service announced a new stamp honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. There's also a stamp honoring Clarence Thomas that says, flip me over and start licking. Florida governor and Dallas Cowboys cheerleader Ron DeSantis. <laughs> explained why so many residents failed to evacuate, saying some people just don't want to leave their homes which is why sometimes you have to trick them onto a plane to Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> a, new <laughs> a new study finds that during the pandemic, students' math scores dropped by almost 10%. Wow, so more than half. <laughs> the world's largest